What's up everyone? Today I'm gonna be showing you how to make a Joby on Soundtrap. So the first thing I did is I have the sample I made. And to make the sample, what I did was I started off with a loop from the Soundtrap search bar. And then what I did then is I pitched it down, layered it a few times. And then once I got this, uh, I added a flute melody on top of it. Yeah, okay. So that's basically how I made the sample. Okay, so now I'm just going to be finding some sounds to use for the drums. Okay, so for the hi-hat pattern, it's very important that you make sure there's two 16th notes in between each hi-hat. And then on the third one, just one in between. So that's what the bounce should sound like. For your snare, you want to put it on the third beat of... The first measure and the sec the on the second measure put on the fourth beat. And then now I can just copy and paste that onto the next two measures. So I'm just gonna be adding in some rims and percussion now to add more texture to the drums. Okay, so I'm just going to be looking for a kick to use for the beat. You want to find a hard hidden kick. But yeah, something like this one. You don't want a soft kick because that's not what Joe beats tend to have. So I've laid down the kick pattern and now I'm going to pull up a Brixton 808. So I'm just going to be adding in the bass notes, and then once I do that, I can add the slide notes on top of it, which gives it that drill 808 kind of sound. It's very important for Soundtrap that you use one of the slide 808, 808s, otherwise it won't actually slide and sound like a drill beat. Alright, so I'm just going to skip ahead once I have my 808 pattern done. And I'm just gonna arrange the beat, skip that for you guys. And uh, this is what the final beat is gonna sound like. All right, everyone, thanks for watching. Make sure to share this video and subscribe. See ya.